guys, so I went to the book fair and Barnes & Noble today. Um, the book fair was at school about last week, and I tried to do this video on my flip, but it ran low on battery, and I didn't feel like putting new batteries in it, I guess. So I'm doing it from my webcam that does not have the best quality, but it's a little bit better. So I'll just start from what, with what I got from the book fair, since I did that a long time ago. All right. Da -da -da -da. So I'll start with this pen. <laughs> um, it's like a multicolor pen, but it um regular it's just pink. Much brighter pink. But here's the on the top part that I'm holding it. It's got red and black. I think that's black. No, I'm sorry, that's blue. I was just looking at the screen. And then right here is black and green. So you just put it down and it comes out of the opposite side. And then you just have to flick it up. Sorry. Right here. That's the black. Flick it up. Blue. Flick it. Flick it up. Red. Flick it up. That was one ninety nine. Then I got this cute little um, eraser. It smells like strawberries. It doesn't really smell that bad. Not good, but it's still, it's pretty good. It's much brighter pink. Pretty much the same pink, just a little different, as you can see. This is a little bit lighter. But it's just striped, and it was 50 cents. It had a cow on it, but I took the package off. Here's a mustache eraser, and it, like, it actually moves, and it's got little lines in it. If you can see that. And you stick it on the end of a pencil right there. And then I got an iPod or iPhone or or whatever. See so the little apps. I heard that the paint comes off, but oh well. It, and it doesn't come apart. That makes me really sad. Oh well. Got a lime green one. And it bends. But yeah, it's got like music and then tweets and hammer, whatever. Cute eraser. So I will just erase on this side if I really use it. I usually don't know. I broke this one, but it still kind of works. So it's just a little owl and it's a puzzle eraser. And I'll show you. You fold it back and then yank this part out of it. This is what this part looks like. It's got a little scallop on it. And then you take part of the face off to where this is the body of it. It's just kind of a fortress right now. And then I broke this part because um, one of the little thingies like this broke off to where it's now like this and this is left behind but you just pull that out with the white thing and then you can finally Get the little, that thing out. Yeah, but these kind of look like glasses. But then you, you just stick them back in. And then I usually stick this part in. It's actually got the stick along with it. Just so I can know how far in my other thing needs to go. Usually I can kind of tell if it needs to go in more or not today and then you just stick the eyes back in the other day I was trying to put it into this thing because I had it turned upside down crazy yeah and then by the way this was 99 cents this was 99 cents and this was 99 cents then the books that I got the main part of the book fair. This is called No Passengers Beyond This Point by Jennifer Choldinko, author of Newberry Honor Winner Al Capone Does My Shirt. That's what it looks like. It was $5.99, and I'll read you the back of it just to give you an idea of the print size. And yeah, and I would have written the levels in the book, but didn't have them. This is like nine points, I think. 
Okay, questions can be tricky things. Everyone has their own way of dealing with them. India Tompkins can charm her way out of answering most of them. Finn Tompkins is too quiet to be asked in the first place. And Mouse Tompkins, she's a genius, used to having all the answers. But when they find themselves trapped in Falling Bird, a city seemingly without logic, the Tompkins kids are facing a whole slew of impossible questions, all demanding answers. And not even Mouse knows how to solve these. How do you find your way home when you aren't even on the map? What's the fastest way to wrap your brain around a problem when time itself gets, keeps getting away from you? And if your life at home wasn't perfect, can you be sure you really want to go back? So it sounds really good. And it is 241 pages. 244 counting the acknowledgments, but I don't think you have to read that. Then I got whatever after fairest of them all. I just wanted our fairest of all because I wanted a little book just to read if I was finished with my arrow goal. Just to have. And there's also whatever after if the shoe fits. But this was $4.99, $5.99 in Canada. The other one didn't have a Canadian price. But um, just to give you an idea of the print size. And this one is only like four points. But still, if you have your arrow goal, it's fine. Um, so I'll read you the back. Mirror, mirror on the basement wall. Once upon a time, a mirror slurped up me and my brother and magically transported us into Snow White's fairy tale. Then we stopped Snow White from eating at the, po the poison apple. Hooray! Or not. If Snow White doesn't die, she won't meet her prince or get her happy ending. Oops. Now it's up to us to fix Snow White's sh story and then, fingers crossed, find our way home. So it's Whatever After Fairest of All by Sarah Milnowski. The first book in the series, and it was like there again, five points. Um, and it has um, it has just a little bit of acknowledgement, like half a page though, and had a lot. Um, 169. So yeah, good book. Hopefully I can read that. Oh, and my favorite part, the reason I really wanted to get it was because of these drawers. Then she's pretty. Wherever my finger's going. Mm, right there. But two of my friends were like, were like, seriously fighting over it. And they were like, just give it to me if you don't want it. Like all of them were whispering, give it to me. Give it to me. And I was just like, I'll get it. Mm, $4.99. And I had $30. So then I got the second book in the set series, I'm sorry, in the missing series. My friend Carson said that it gets worse every time. So that would be nice to know since it was $7.99 and $9.99 in Canada. I kept thinking it was $9.99, but it was $7.99. So just giving you an idea of the text size. Um, okay, by Margaret Peterson Haddix. Okay, 13-year-old, 13-year-olds, Jonah and Chip, are reeling from the news that they're both missing children from history kidnapped from their proper time period when J.B., a time pursuit, per, perist, that Chip, sorry, Chip and Alex, another boy, back in time, determined not to lose their friends, Jonah and his sister grab Chip's arm, and they also end up in the 15th century. Chip's true identity is Edward V. King of England, and Alex is his younger brother, Richard, Duke of York. His, it's good to be king until Chip discovers that his uncle, Richard of, Glo of Gloucester, plans to kill them and seize the throne for himself. If the kids can't fix time, J.B. will allow them to return. But how can they... If they kids can fix time, J.B. will allow them to return, but how can they get home safely when history claims that Chip and Alex were murdered? In a, re riveting, in a riveting story that climaxes on the battlefield of Bosworth, readers are sent to an unforgettable moment in history and the adventure of a lifetime. So yeah, sounds pretty good, but no, my friend just has to ruin it for me. And I forgot to show you, this is the Top Secret UV pen. It's an invisible ink, and it shines a blue light. Oh, and by the way, this has, it has 313 pages. About 10, 11, 
well, 13. But, I'll just write on this ticket. Oh no, I can't. Look at that. What's my name? Well, let me write on this just to back. Okay. So, like, there's nothing here, right? Right? Where was it anyway? So sorry. Where did I even? Here we go. Well, you guys can't see it, but I promise it's there. Oh, bad camera. Anyway, it's really cool and it works, and I got the teal one, and it was. Yeah, yeah. Then before I go on to Barnes and Noble, this I just got today. It's the Intuition Naturals. Um, shaver for the shower and it looks like that and it's just smell really good and it has four blades in there looks like that for upstairs it smells pretty good it smells like the oh well so I had a $25 gift card to Barnes and & and I went there today and they had no monster hot they have it online but they don't here so I got a $6 six, sorry $7 I'm going to start reading this today I may read this one. Okay, talk to me yet. But anyway, this is the six ninety nine um just paperback version of it. And this is print. Really, really tiny. My friend said it was really good. Um it says, Are you a gifted child looking for special opportunities? When this peculiar ad appears in the newspaper, dozens of children enroll to take a series of mysterious mind bending tests. And you, dear reader, can test your wits right alongside them. But in the end, just four very special children will succeed. They're challenged to go on a secret mission that only the most intelligent and resourceful children can complete. With their newfound friendship at stake, will they be able to pass the most important test of all? Welcome to the Mysterious Benedict Society. They have five books, seven ninety nine in Canada, um, pages... Sorry. Um, it has, please tell me it has pages. Oh, Lord. It doesn't have pages. Oh, no. Oh. Oof, I was about to say, it's like 500 pages, but, yeah, 18 points, by the way. Okay, okay. Then I got Story Bound by, oh, and I didn't say who this is by, Tritton Lee Stewart, sorry, and illustrated by some other person I don't know the name of. But it's called Story Bound by Melissa Burt. Print. Una ran her fingers over the faded leather and cloth. Oh, no, I'm going to read this one. When Una Fairchild stumbles upon a mysterious book buried deep in the basement of her school library, she thinks nothing of opening this cover and diving the cover and diving in. But instead of paging through a regular novel, Una suddenly finds herself written in to the land of story, a world filled with heroes and villains and a fairy tale characters. But not all, everything in story is as magical as it seems. Una must figure out why she has been written in and fast before anyone else discovers her secret. Together with her new friend Peter and talking and a talking cat named Sam, Una digs deep into the story's shadowy past. She quickly realizes that she is tied to the world in ways she never could have imagined and it might be up to her to save it. There are three hundred about four hundred pages. And um yeah. So this was twelve no I'm sorry, sixteen ninety nine because it is a hard cover yeah, with a hardcover. So, yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.